Dr. Mike Harding, plant pathologist with Alberta Agriculture and Forestry. This short video that we'll show you is going to show you how to perform the Provincial Canola Disease Survey. We're going to show you some details of how to perform the survey along with some tips that are going to help make your efforts successful and safe. This survey targets 1% of canola acres in each county or municipality across the province. And the survey window is August to September with the optimal time being sometime just before or just after swathing. Let's begin by talking about the materials that you're going to need. First, a clipboard with the survey protocol and data sheets. Large heavy paper bags, one for each field. A cooler with an ice pack. If necessary, a map for directions, a GPS receiver, disposable boot coverings, garbage bags, pens and sharpies, disinfectant wipes, disposable gloves, pruning shears, potato fork, a spade or a trowel or other digging tool, a handheld solution, a spray bottle with 2% bleach, stapler or tape, insect repellent, plastic Ziploc bags, bag tags and twist ties, a scrub brush and gloves. Now that you're all packed up and ready to go, drive to the field, go to the main entrance and park safely on the road at or near the approach. Do not drive into the field. Before exiting the vehicle, put on disposable foot coverings or put on rubber boots that can be easily sanitized when you're finished surveying the field. Take a GPS reading of your location. Be sure that the receiver has made the necessary satellite connection before taking the reading. Now record the location on your data sheet along with your name and other requested information. Then label one large heavy paper bag with the GPS location and or legal land description, the county name and the date. Now take your clipboard with the data sheet and protocol, the sample bag, your digging tool and your pruning shears and walk out into the main entrance to the field about 10 to 15 steps so that your first location is just in from the main entrance to the field. Dig up 100 plants. Be careful to dig up the entire root system. Once you've dug up the plants, knock the dirt off of the roots and rate them for club root symptoms. Use the zero to three rating scale shown in the protocol to rate for club root severity. Look carefully to make sure you don't miss any small galls or swellings on the lateral roots. Make sure to record your results on the club root survey data sheet. Once you've recorded the results at sampling location one, clip 10 of the stems with the pruning shears. Clip them first at the soil line and then again about 10 to 12 inches up the stem and place all 10 stems into the labeled paper bag. Once you've finished rating 100 roots and clipping 10 stems and putting them in the bag, you move to location number two, where you'll dig up 10 plants and clip all 10 stems and put them in the bag. And you'll do this for nine additional sites until you have rated 190 plants for club root and you've placed 100 stems in the bag. Take a GPS reading for every location that you find club root. Once you have all your ratings for all 10 locations for club root and 100 cut stems in the bag, roll up the bag of stems and staple or tape it secure and place it in a cooler with a cooler pack. The survey data sheet can either go into the bag or it can be sent separately. Now wipe down your pruning shears and digging tools with a disinfectant wipe and stow them back in your vehicle. Place the used wipes into a garbage bag. If you wore rubber boots, clean all of the dirt off and then spray them with a 2% sodium hypochlorite bleach solution. If you wore disposable foot coverings, remove them and place them into the garbage bag or into a Ziploc bag and enclose them. The used wipes and used foot coverings can either be incinerated or sent to the landfill as garbage. 
The bags with the samples and the data sheets should be packed up into a sturdy cardboard box and sent or delivered to the contact information you see on the screen. Alternatively, samples could be sent to the Plant Health Lab in Edmonton. This concludes our survey video training. We hope you're now better prepared to assist with this work. Disease surveillance and crop assurance is very important work that supports our agriculture sector. Thank you for assisting with this provincial survey.